Hello guys, in this video, I am going to be reviewing Shotcut, the best video editor for Linux. Also, if you guys have been enjoying my videos, make sure to let me know in the comments. Now let's get into the video. Shotcut is the best video editor for Linux because of all the features it has. It is also free, unlike how much a video editor like Adobe Premiere Pro costs per month. Let's get into some of the features it comes with. First, there is a highly customizable layout, and it shows things like the timeline, your playlist, filters, audio, export, jobs, and some more. You can also change your view with a selection of logging, editing, FX, color, audio, and player. Next, I will be getting into the playlist. The playlist is a nice feature where you can put all your files that you are going to be using for the video you are making. It makes it a lot easier to get files because you don't have to go open your files app. Now we will be looking at filters. There are many filters to choose from to apply to your files. I will show you guys some of my favorite filters, but I can't go through all of them because of how many filters there are. My first favorite filter is mute. I use this filter a lot when I accidentally forgot to turn off my microphone while I am recording. My next favorite filter is the blur filter, for if I want to blur something specific, Software Manager, if you are new to Linux, it will be a lot easier for you to find that. Now my last favorite filter is the Chroma Key Filter. I like this filter because you can use it for a green screen. This is the end result. The next thing you'll be going over is properties. With properties, you can see the details on a video or audio you select. You can also change the speed and aspect ratio and even rotate the video. Hello guys, in this video, I will be going My next favorite thing now, I will be going over export. This is how you export the video you edited. On the left, there is a lot of presence which changes how your video exports. Next, there is a button called Use Video Encoder. If you want to use a video encoder, click Configure. If you want to edit your video export settings more in detail, click Advanced. You can change the video format, you can change the resolution, aspect ratio, and more.
At the bottom, there is Use Preview Scaling and Parallel Processing. These settings can help speed up your export time. Next, click Codec. You can change the codec and rate control. Next is quality. The lower the percent you put, the lower the quality, but it is also faster and uses less storage. Next is audio, and you can change your channels and more. Finally, when you have your desired settings, you can click export file and then save the file. Then just let the video process and once is it done, your video should be saved. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to review a certain Linux app, let me know down in the comments below.